oftentimes I think people are just looking for a sign of, well, this is what I should be doing because this happened and this happened, which are good things. So I'm just going to take this path. Or this is showing me that this is the right path to take. Or like, you know, let's say you know, I'm looking for a job, right? Well, I think this is the right job to take because when I walked in the door, the, the sun came out from a cloud and there was this big rainbow that like, you know, lit the way and, and everything just looked perfect, right? And I know it sounds kind of silly and maybe this example is, I'm just making it up, but you know what I'm talking about. Think about, there's, there's other times and I think a lot of people are, can be guilty of this from time to time, just in general, of starting to ascribe more reasons of just like, well, I think that, you know, God's trying to tell me something here through these different things, when in reality, you're probably just reading more into it. When we see signs in the Bible, there were signs in the Bible. And we actually just had, we we're just dealing with Gideon asking for a sign from God that what he was speaking to, that, that he was really the one that was going to go and save Israel and everything else. He wanted to confirm what he's already heard from the Lord. But, um, and I'll just read for you from Ju Judges chapter 6. We went over this a little bit on that Wednesday night. But um, in Judges 6, 16, the Bible says, And the Lord said unto him, Surely I will be with thee, and thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man. So this is God's word. This is the word of the Lord on the Gideon. He's telling him what he's going to do. And the word of the Lord is what we should be basing all of our decisions on, all, you know, all of our truth on how we live based on the word of the Lord, not on some feeling, not on some sign. But see, at this time in the Old Testament, Gideon wants to try the spirits, right? We're commanded to try the spirits. The Bible says in 1 John 4, 1, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. See, the, the job of a prophet is supposed to help guide and to help give you instruction and help make the word of the Lord plain and clear and to help you know the path and the will of the Lord. But there are many false prophets out there that are going to deceive you and get you down the wrong path. So it's our job to be able to try the spirits. Well, when I look at Gideon, I think that's literally what he's trying to do is to try the spirit. Like, God, is this, are you really talking? Is this really coming from you, Lord? Do you want me to? Well, in order to prove this, can you? And that's why he follows up when the Lord tells him this, that you are going to destroy the Midian, Midianites. He says, and he said unto him, if now I found grace in thy sight, then show me a sign that thou talkest with me. He's like, I just want to know that this is you, Lord, and not some other false prophet. That, that was his way I believe, of just wanting to confirm that this is the word of the Lord. And it's actually a pretty unique instance when it comes to signs and someone actually asking for a sign. Because another thing that we, we have a tendency to want to do in general is ask God, like, when we have important decisions, God, can you just show me a sign that I'm on the right path? Can you show me a sign that this is the right thing to do? Can you give me a sign? We actually don't really find examples of that in Scripture of people just asking God to give us, you know, to give them a sign to do this or to do that or to make their decision. We don't see examples of that in Scripture. This is probably the closest thing and is a pretty unique event in, even in that capacity. We do also have one other time in Scripture where Hezekiah is told that he's going to be healed. And Hezekiah asks for a sign to confirm that he will be healed. But again, this is just another example of confirmation of what's already spoken by the Lord. It's to confirm that this truly is going to happen based on what was already been told by God. Uh, 2 Kings 28 says, And Hezekiah said unto Isaiah, What shall be the sign that the Lord will heal me, and that I shall go up into the house of the Lord the third day? And Isaiah said, This sign shalt thou have of the Lord, that the Lord will do the thing that he hath spoken. Shall the shadow go forward 10 degrees or back 10 degrees? And this is where he makes time basically go back, you know, 10 degrees. He's saying, well, it's a light thing to go forward 10 degrees. I want you to go back. And it was a miracle that was performed and it was a sign. And God did that sign. 